Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Glorify your good day. And some relation with him. But glorify your good day. Well, Srila Gurudev ordered me to speak um, about our Srila Prabhupada and his relationship also with Srila Gurudev. Well, I know a little bit about their relationship together because I was fortunate enough to be in Mathura when um, one day Srila Gurudev called me into the room. I had been telling him that none of us knew very much about their friendship together. We knew just about our, our Srila Prabhupada and how he saved us and we didn't know very much about what had happened before he came here to America and uh, did such a wonderful thing. So. He had, told, he had told us that at one time there were some letters and that they had a very deep and close relationship, but none of us had ever seen anything about that. And so one day he called me in to the room and said, here, look what I have. And he apparently had been looking in some old files and had found a few of the letters that were left over from all of the letters that he and Srila Prabhupada had corresponded with for so many years. And... Uh, so we had those letters translated from Bengali into English, and then uh, everybody can read those. But I know that just from reading those small letters and then from hearing the last tape that we have um, of Srila Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada, when Srila Prabhupada was just about to depart from this world, and their conversation, of course it was in Bengali, and um, people have tried to translate it but a lot of it is a little bit inaudible. But um, I was in the room when Srila Gurudev was listening to that tape. We put it, the earphones on his ears and he was listening to the conversation that he and our Srila Prabhupada had. And um, it was very beautiful, it was very touching. And uh, it gave me some glimmer of an idea of what it must be like for Vaishnavas of that caliber to uh, to share the preaching mood together and to share the Krishna consciousness together on such levels. And I kind of feel like when, when Srila Prabhupada left us, most of us were pretty much like orphans. We were just little tiny babies in Krishna consciousness. And of course, he had injected so much love and faith in us, we had not even barely a glimmer of what it meant to practice bhakti or what this path might be take us to. And then he just left us and we were pretty um, floundering. And so it took some time, like Sri Gurudev said a couple of days ago, before he, the time was just right for him to pick up that baton and carry it back here again and help those of us who are still valiantly trying to please our spiritual master and someday become Krishna conscious. So that's happening, slowly but surely and quickly for some. And the mercy is, is here again. So I feel that um, Srila Prabhupada's connection, even just right here in San Diego, where he used to come here to this city, and the joy and the, the ecstatic Krishna consciousness that was going on, what was it, 30 years ago? Twenty five years to thirty years ago, when most of us were the same age as some of our children are now. And 
but it's very loving to see that, that, that Krishna consciousness is going on so much enthusiastic, and I feel Srila Prabhupada's presence here so much, especially through the mercy of Srila Guru. Partial obeisance is in the Lord of Sweet of Life. Spiritual Guru, Talila, Prostong, Vishnu, Parshishma, Bhakti, Pragyan, Krishna, Vishnu. Once I am in the Lord of Sweet of my Deep Sikha Guru, Nitalila, Prostong, Vishnu, Parshishma, Bhakti, Vedana, Swami. Swami Maharaj, come to Western country. Western country is everywhere. Out of India, he came. And very successfully, in a couple of years, he did in Narito. Published so many books. He published so many books. He distributed in the whole world and wanted to get the same object as the Rupa Goswami has established. But at that time, so much time took in cutting jungle of Maya Bhat Sahajiya and so many things. Mostly his time. So, he could not tell all these things, that what is the object, how to attend. Hmm? He wrote in his books explaining Chaitanya, Chaitamrita, and Bhagavata, and everything, in uh, Upadeshamrita, and so many, Krishna, Lida book. He has done, but he could not explain so much. 
because there was no place to, because everywhere jungle, jungle, jungle. I think, I, I believe that if he was now present here in this world, he is present everywhere. But oh, if he was in this world, like me, now he would have told everything that I am doing. Shortly. Because this is the MN object of all living beings. That Rup Goswami had chopped. Tannam Rup Charita De Sukhatanan Kramina Rasana Manasin Yodja Tishtan Brijay Tadanurag Jananurag Kalam Nay Akilam Itu To serve Radha Krishna, this is the last goal, supreme goal. And to attain of this is slow. So yesterday we discussed about Uttama Bhakti. Also we told what is not bhakti, real bhakti. So Sangha Siddha and Aro Siddha we told. So when our object will be anukulle krishna musilanam with two uh, gong quality secondary two quality then it will be uttama bhakti so if anyone is practicing Sarup Siddha Bhakti, in the guidance of a qualified guru and siksha guru, being in Vrindavan, what doing? In the guidance of Tadha Nuragi, Krishna Nuragi, Jana Nugami, in the guidance of that, very high class of Rashi, Tattva Vaishnava, knowing all things. In his guidance, being in Vrindavan, engaging his mind in remembering sweet pastimes of Krishna, and engaging his turn in chanting. Sri Krishna Govinda Hare Murari. Govinda he nanda kishore krishna Hashi yasoda tanaya prasida Riballa vi jivan rani Radharaman Govinda, Gopal, like these names Supreme names of Supreme Lord With melting heart Tears in eyes, hair standing, like Nainam Galadasudharaya. Hmm? Oh, this is called sadhana. This is sadhana. Of what? Anna Vilasitam, this is slow. That is, this is prima bhakti. How we will exercise it, how we will endeavor. Satang prasangam virja sambhito. Satang prasangam mama virya sambhito bhavantarita karnara sajana katha tajyo sanatu asu apabhargavatmani shraddharati bhakti yanukramishyati if you are hearing sweet pastimes and powerful pastimes of Krishna, Krishna being Supreme Lord and Madhav Jasoda Gopi and he is binding Krishna and Krishna is weeping, 
looking very beautiful in weeping and naked also. Supreme Lord. And he is weeping, fearing her mother, and mother is chastising. Oh, you are very naughty boy, very naughty boy. Who can tell Supreme Lord, naughty boy? <laughs> and she binded Krishna, all our appellants, of where it went. Putana couldn't get rid of this a small boy of six days. He has power of so many thousand of elephants, but could not get rid. And just so the earth sat down. <laughs> Only I took Krishna and, and he forget his all supremacy and everything. So hearing all past times. Gyane prayasam to pasya namanteva. Jivante san mukharitan bhavadiyava tam sthani sutigatam tanuman manorjya. Hearing these sweet past times, first Swamiji came and told that Krishna is Supreme Lord. Eh? Of God. <coughs> now, uh, by His order, I have come now and I am telling what? Try to forget Krishna Supreme Lord. <laughs> <laughs> if He would be here, He would have also told the same thing now. So try to forget Krishna, the Supreme Lord. Supreme Lord never whips for makhan and roti, chapati. <laughs> no? He never tells lie, <laughs> but he always tells lie, Krishna. Hmm? He, has so, he is so much greedy like monkeys <laughs> and playing with monkeys. No? In a moment he can oh, be angry. Oh, Brahma never becomes angry. So, hearing these sweet pastimes like this, giving up the endeavoring uh, that Krishna Supreme Lord giving up all these things. Hmm? Or oh, doing pranam to Harikatha, the speaker to audience who are hearing, organizers like Upananda and others are hearing like you all. And to the place, or oh, today where we are sitting and hearing Katha, Golok, Vrindavan. So doing pranam to all, and thus engaging his ears, mind and heart in the Harikatha. Then Shraddha and then Sadhana Bhakti and Prema Bhakti come. Satan Prasangam Vidya Sambhadav Bhavante Rita Karana Rasayana Tathata Josanata Apusu Apavarg Vatmani Shraddha, Rati, and first is Sadhan Bhakti, second is Bhav Bhakti, and third is Prema Bhakti. Comes surely, Tatkhanat, I told you. Oh. And then, immediately. So, <coughs> if you are practicing that, Oh, this is called sadhan. But Sri Bhakti Manoj Thakur, in his bhajan rahasya, it has not translated into English. Still, 
very soon it will come very soon it will come in english in hindi we have them so he has divided this sadhan into eight parts how a day 24 hours can be divided into eight parts in day three parts morning midday evening afternoon and in night three what no before that pradosh pradosh means dawn dawn, dawn. Some some darkness coming. Dust, 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 dust. And then midnight and last night. And then two morning and and dawn. These eight parts. The bhajan is also like that. It can be divided into. eight parts what hmm? nishant bhajan that is shraddha what is shraddha hmm? what is shraddha really what is shraddha where is speaker my in chaitanya charitamrita shila krishnadas kagraj goswami has defined shraddha as follows Shraddha Shabde Vishwas Kahe, Sudhidhar is joined, Krishna Bhakti, Kohe Sava Kama Krita Hoi. That one who has very firm and unflinching determination that just by engaging in devotional service, then I have no other duty to perform. That by performing devotional service, that this is in my very best interest so what is shraddha to explain brahmanda brahmite kon bhagavan ji guru krishna prasadi bhai bhakti lata beach that one is traveling traversing in this material world for thousands and thousands of lives in different bodies and different universes are all hearing can all can all hear me yes oh they're traveling through different universes and different species of lives and one who is fortunate he received um by mercy of guru then there's the bhakti lata beach the seed of devotion so this seed of devotion this is shraddha it has the internal aspect and external this bhakti lata beach the external is shraddha this faith that we have described shraddha shabde vishwas kahe sudhi danish joy and the internal is krishna seva vashna so this krishna seva vashna means the desire to serve krishna and this is inherent within the heart of all living entities shri krishna das kabras goswami has also explained nitya siddha krishna prem sadhu kabunoy shravana dishuchite koroi udoy that this um krishna prem that it is inherent within all living entities nitya siddha krishna prem sadhu kabo shravana dishuchite koroi udoy that how is it awoken it is awoken by the process of hearing and chanting just as good day has explained satam prasangam mama vir samvido that one who comes in contact with bona fide sad guru that he is speaking very sweet harikatha but it is not just words but shabda brahma transcendental sound such sad guru he is empowered with surup shakti and when that surup shakti emanating from his heart comes from his lips and manifest in the form of transcendental sound shabda brahma then it enters into the ear and into the heart of that devotee who's listening 
um, attentively, in a submissive manner. And in this way, there is a um, awakening of that dormant love of God which is within the heart. This process is the transmission of Swarup Shakti which um, awakens this Shraddha, Shraddha which is within the heart of the devotee. So it is not that Sadhguru is giving Shraddha, but rather he is awakening that which is already there. Param Gurudev, he gives the example. Without mercy of Sadhguru, then there's no question of this Shraddha, which is dormant within the heart of the living entity being awoken. So the example is given that at the um, Param Gurudev, Shila Bhakti Nitalila Pravishnu Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Shishma Shila Bhakti Pragyan Keshu Gosamaraj. He gives the example that if one goes on the bank of the Ganges and plants many different types of seeds, mango seed, guava seed, neem seed, uh, orange, and then you bring water and then you water these seeds. Then in due course of time, with water, with sunlight, air, these different ingredients, then these seeds, they will start to sprout. And they will not all be the same. But according to what seed is there within the ground, with proper conditions, then that particular seed will manifest. So the same way, the living entity has an eternal relationship with the Supreme Lord. Jivaras Rupohoi Krishna Nitya Das. What specific type of Nitya Das, eternal servant, that is there, and it is awoken by this process of submissive hearing and surrendering at the lotus feet of Sadhguru. Thank you. To Shraddha first, by association of high class of Vaishnava, it may be Madhyamadikari, association, no harm. But he should be qualified, really in Madhya Madhikar. <coughs> Renown should be there. Oh, this attachment for worldly things should be there. And then Shraddha comes. What is Shraddha? He told. Oh, so much faith in the words of Shastra like Gita, Bhagavata and others. So much faith in the words of Vaishnava and so much faith in the words of Krishna. This is external symptom of Shraddha and internal to desire to serve Krishna. This if you desire to serve Krishna, but no faith in the words of Vaishnava, Guru and Shastra, then that desire is not perfect, oh, bogus, bogus, totally bogus. If Shraddhai will be there, then be. What total, if he has not even Guru, but he will have a full faith in, a strong faith in the words of Shastra, Krishna and Vaishnava. Or oh, this faith, with this faith, hearing Hari Katha, or now he will wish that, I must have a Guru. And that Guru will be bona fide. If there is no full a strong faith, it may be that a bogus guru you can select. Bogus guru. This guru will not be perfect. You have some faith in Shastra and you think that I must be happy. How happy? With worldly things. And for this, you are searching a guru. Krishna will not help you. 
According to desire, he will give a guru. And then you can choose bogus guru instead of high class of bona fide guru. So, this Shraddha, if real Guru, he has not achieved. When it will be? After second Sadhu He will think a need of having a Guru, bona fide. And then Bhajan will come with Shraddha. And then Offering yourself in the lotus feet of Guru, Sadguru, and by his, by his advice and, advice and guidance. guidance. If you do bhajan, then anarthaniti will be done. Otherwise, no. Never and never. So, doing bhajan and bhajan, oh, this is prathar bhajan. And morning bhajan, sadhana. With anatha nevritti, yeah? try to, trying to give up anats, and for this he is doing chanting, remembering. Then it will be prata bhajan. And after this, purvanda bhajan will come, and that is nishtha bhajan. Nishtha bhajan means? Steadiness. Steady. Steady. What is steadiness? No ruchi, no taste even. But we know that without bhajan we cannot be happy. So, anatsa there so, somewhat. No taste has, not taste has come. But even steadiness, I will do bhajan, do or die. Then it is. Like Dhruva. Hmm? I may not prolong Dhruva first. He has one day desire. Oh, but I must meditate for oh, Supreme Lord. Hmm? Krishna sent messenger like Naradrishi and go and test. He tested him. Oh, he was in a very a strong. So, <coughs> na, Krishna told that, oh, then you should give diksha and mantra and some process. And he gave. And very soon he took darshan of Narayana. But worldly desire was there. So he received the kingdom of world world for 36,000 years and Krishna then disappeared. He was weeping and weeping. What I did? I was searching some broken glasses and I <coughs> died. But I neglected. Yes. And then he was beaten. So, this is the thing. Hmm? With a nishtha. Oh, no test, but yet steadiness. I must do. Hmm? I must chant one last name. I must. After that, I may take water or anything, and he No test, he sleeps. But he thinks that, oh, if I am sleeping, then I cannot do. So he hangs his sikha anywhere. Uh, row. Uh, row. Oh, he is doing <laughs> Like this. So he does. Anyhow, this is called Nishtha. And Madhyana Bhajan, Madhyana means midday Bhajan. 
रुचि भजन रुचि कंस रुचि कंस ऑफ एम वेरी मच नॉट सो मच फियर नॉट बट रुचि इन साधन भजन श्रवणम कीर्तन स्मरण रुचि कंस टेस्ट कंस इफ देर इज टेस्ट नो आइडलनेस नो स्लीपिंग not all these things and after some time oh aparan bhajan in aparan after no that is krishna shakti kam ashakti to krishna first ashakti to attachment to bhajan bhajan and then bhajan. object of bhajan krishna comes oh very good hmm? anathar gun most of the anath has done some some no. smell is there all anath are now sleeping but if they will have chance they may but very little chance very little but there is chance like bharat like others they may fall down then shayan bhajan bhav bhakti hmm? bhav bhakti what is bhav bhakti hmm? I, we will define after that and then pradosh some darkness coming and then vipralambha prem vipralambha means feeling separation ai dina dayadrana हे मथुरा नाथ कदा वलोक्य से हृदय तद आलोक कातर दयित भ्रम्य किम करोम्य नंद ओ नंद नंद नाम होप्लेस 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 डॉट वेटिंग लिटरली mathura nath as gopi are feeling separation huh? oh he is feeling some separation i am very far away from krishna i cannot survive my life without you like this telling he is doing this is separation vipralambha prem now after rati prem has come bhav prem is coming and then ratri bhajan sambhog prem bhajan with love and affection sometimes in bhajan oh krishna comes is all gopis coming is all asuras and he is seeking see everything as it is true what all are here i'm serving radha and krishna like this this and radha and krishna are together and we are serving this so these are eight sadhan but these sadhan are divided into थ्री साधन भक्ति भाव भक्ति वाई थ्री वाई नॉट टू साधन भक्ति एंड प्रेमा भक्ति भाव भक्ति इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम साधन भक्ति एंड ऑल्सो डिफरेंट फ्रॉम प्रेमा भक्ति सो वी मस्ट accept this bhav bhakti of rup goswami has told these thing in sadhan bhakti so much anath sar there no? and he has feeling a pain and and so many things oh in this sadhan but in prem 
nothing like so. He is unaware of all these things, worldly things. No pain. No pain. Nothing. But in bhav, there may be some coming some obstacles. Obstacles. But he overlooks them. In, at the time of bhav, it may be so many things will come. Oh, obstacles for bhav sadhan. But he not influenced by any of that. But in prayer he does not know, like when Sukhdeva Goswami was in his <coughs> second position, he never felt any worldly thing, pain or anything. So, <coughs> this is bhav bhakti we must accept. Even sadhana has been divided into through by the bhakti and what is by the bhakti? Can you? You? What is? By the bhakti? By the bhakti is described as that we engage in the activities of hearing, chanting, associating with devotees, but our faith is dominated by fear for the rules and instructions given in the Shastra. If I don't do this, oh, I will not attain bhakti, or so many reactions will come. So out of fear, he is following the process of sadhana bhakti. What he told? Krishna Bhajan Prabhu. From the process of hearing about bhakti, one is awakened and follows out of a sense of duty or out of a sense of fear only. There is no strong attachment or natural uh, awakening of that dormant uh, shada. It's just a sense of duty or uh, obligation, okay. based on fear. If anyone has greed, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Mati Kriyatam Kutopi Jadi Lathvete Tatra Laulyam Api Mulyame Kalam Janma Koti Sukhate Vinhada Bhakti can be attained by what? Sukhkriti. And lacks and lacks Sukriti. Nice. If it is so strong, then Sadhu Sangha. And by Sadhu Sangha, Bhakti can come. Be attained. But this Sadhu Sangha, I mean, oh, if a great comes to serve Krishna, like Shakha, Subhansaka Madhumangal, like Nandvabhaja Sudha, like Rukmanjari and others. This greed is so, so valuable that even this Sukriti of lakhs and lakhs past birth, who oh, cannot give this thing? Really, it is very rare. Very rare. I have read anywhere in the books of Swamiji, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami that if a man is like this, have come to this position, Krishna Bhakti Rasa Bhavita Amati Kriyatang Kutopi and if he has attained this thing, then he is, oh, what? This is the definition of Krishna Bhakti. Krishna consciousness. He is the member of Krishna consciousness. Otherwise not. 
So if anyone is like this, then he is gone really. Otherwise not. And they can never be fall down. Never. So, <clears throat> if anyone has not greed, actually, and he follows the directions of Shastra, without bhajan, oh, serving father, mother, wife, husband, children, and oh, uh, what, desh bhakti, Love for own country. Country, this. This will not do anything. Hmm? You will have to go. If you are not doing bhajan of Krishna, then you will have to go in hell. Without any hmm? So, I must do bhajan, but no taste, nothing is there. Hmm? He is doing some what? Sadhu, Sangha then it is called Vaidhi, Vaidhi Bhakti. So Sadhan are Vaidhi and Raga Nuga. If he has a great, actual greed, bona fide greed, then that is called Raga Nuga, Bhajan, and without greed, only following the principles strictly with of Shah, that is that Vaidhi Bhakti. Really, sadhan is Raganuga Bhakti. This is Suddha Bhakti. Then what is sadhan? Kriti Shabdhya. Bhavet Shabdhya Bhava. So sadhana Vidha. Nitya Siddha Shabhava Sham Prapatyam. Do you think that it is very hard subject? You want to hear Hari, uh, sweet pastimes or this is the very important subject. Important subject. But somehow someone are sleeping. So some are sleeping. What to do? A medicine should be given. <laughs> Sadhana Bhakti has been divided into two, Vaidhi Bhakti and Raghana Bhakti. So Kriti, what is Sadhana? Or object of Bhajan Sadhana is Annabhilatita Sunyam Gyan Karmat Janabhitam Ankullen Krishnan Silanam Bhakti. This is object. Pure Uttama Bhakti. This is object. So, when we are doing, exercising this Bhakti, then if our object to attain Bhav, Rati, then it is called Sadhana. If we have no goal of Sadhana and Bhajan, and you are doing, oh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, chanting, or oh, reading books also, doing so many, oh, 64 limbs of bhakti you are doing, but not sadhana, not pure sadhana, some blends of sadhana. What I told? You said that, uh, well, 
Uh, you, first, you were describing the two different uh, types of uh, bhakti. Uh, uh, Raganuga bhakti and then sadhana bhakti. Vaidhi bhakti. And everyone explained that Vaidhi bhakti is out of fear and a duty to do the proper thing. And then uh, Raganuga bhakti, you actually have greed to do. And now you are starting to describe uh, the different. I don't know the word. Sadhana. Sadhana. Object and you have to and you have to do your uh, sadhana with an object. You have to do the bhajan with some object, uh, with some goal. What goal? To attain money? No. <laughs> Position? You want? No. Say no. Uh, so what? What should be our trip? Prema bhakti. You want? Oh, oh. You, have not heard. you have not. Heard. Try to listen more carefully. You master, can you? Bejar master? Are you, why not? Bejar master. Um, good what I, I told? You were explaining that um, if anyone is not answering, and who will answer? I will tell him to. I will now call ladies devotees. And if they will answer correct, I will tell, oh, you should twist his. <laughs> to be ready for this. You were saying if we are chanting, worshipping, doing so many things, 64 limbs, but if one does not have the object of rati, then then this is not called sadhana. Not pure sadhana. Shabdhan Kriti sadhya bhavet sadhya bhava. Oh, like it has been told in Annabhilasita Shunya. So what Annabhilasita meaning? of all activities of the body, mind, words, and especially spiritual move, for, which is favorably performed for the pleasure of Krishna, which is not covered by fruitive activities, mental speculation, and which is flowing like a fluid, unbroken current of honey. Mm -hmm. This is Uttam Bhakti. So, you are intimidating. Samanam Kirtan Vishnu Smarana. But you are criticizing Vaishnav. You don't obey your Guru. And you don't have love for Vaishnav. But you are chanting, remembering, doing all other things. What is this? This is Sarva Siddha Bhakti or not? Uh, it is. If one is performing the angas of bhakti, uh, so like Saramanan, Kirtan, and uh, the nine angas, and being in Vrindavan also, Mathuravas. and giving parikrama to Vrindavan, Govardhan, even. And if, but he is not obeying Guru Vaishnav, no love for that. Then, what is this? Uh, this is described by Sarva uh, Siddha Bhakti or not? Yes, but in, uh, in Tamasa mode. Bhogas <laughs> mode. No. <laughs> you know, Upade Vat Sinde Tar Sukhi Jaya Pata. Jadi Vaishno Aparat Uthe Hathi Mata Upade Vat Sinde Tar Sukhi Jaya Pata. What is the meaning? What? Like a mad elephant. Uh, uh, Aparat is like a mad elephant. Uh, what she does? It uproots one's emotional creeper. Uproots. Uproots means? It takes so he is now not living. Or his life finished. So if he is doing Aparat, or oh, his bhakti is not there. Uprooted. Oh, ho gaya. <laughs> and he can be doing Parikrama in the dawn? Everything he is doing. <laughs> 
बिकॉज अनुकूल नहीं ना कृष्ण अनुभव शील अनुभव फिर उत्तम इट शुड बी फेवरेबल ऑफ भक्ति इज इट फेवरेबल फॉर भक्ति ऑल डूइंग ही इज डूइंग देन व्हाट इज इट इट हैज बीन अपर रूटेड सो नो भक्ति इट लुक्स लाइक भक्ति फॉर होम दोज हु आर नॉट प्योर डिवोटिज फॉर देम ही इट मे बी दे आर अग्र फॉर देम ओ दे थिंक मे थिंक ओ ही डूइंग सस्तांग प्रणाम हंड्रेड एट टाइम्स एट ए प्लेस एंड विथ गोवर्धन पर एंड सो मेनी इयर्स ओ हाउ ही इज हाई क्लास बट ही हैज रियली नो फेथ इन गुरु वैष्णव एंड एंड ही इज क्रिटिसाइज ओ वाट आई एम डूइंग दे कैन माई गुरु नेवर डी डी इट वाट आई एम डूइंग Swami ji never did. Oh, Sastang Pranam to 108 in a place. But I am doing. I am doing Nirjala Ekadasi, but he cannot do. He never did. Oh, this thing. Then uprooted. Bhakti is uprooted. So favorable. If not favorable, no bhakti at all. For ignore persons, it may be bhakti. अदरवाइजर If in dream comes, then what do you should do? Go to Ganges, go to river, go to ocean, and take bath. And forgiveness should be there. Anutap will be there. Repentation will be there. Repentation will be there. Takriti sadhya bhavita sadhya bhava. You are endeavouring by your all senses. It is. And not doing a para, even by your modes, bhav, you are doing to obtain bhav bhakti. Oh, then it can call sadhana bhakti. Oh, but you should know that bhav or prem is not a thing. To be offended by sadhan, it is nitya siddha. What is bhav? We should know. For who, which is the aim and object of sadhan, sadhak? What is? Sadhan bhakti. What is that? Siddha sattva, vishesh atma. No? Nitya siddha se bhavasya. शुद्ध सत्ता प्रेम विशेष आत्मा प्रेम सुजान सुशाम्य भाव चित्तम मासिन्य कृदशाओ भाव मुक्त पर इधर में नहीं ओ प्रेम भाव इज शुद्ध सत्ता पाठी सा सत्ता ओ जिसकी सत्ता है और लाइक वी एग्जिस्ट ट्री एग्जिस्ट दिस हाउस एग्जिस्ट द बॉडी ऑफ कृष्ण और एनीथिंग ऑफ गोलोक वृंदावन वैकुंठ और सत्ता सत्ता इज मेटेरियल सत्ता एंड स्पिरिचुअल ट्रांसडेंटल वर्ल्डली सत्ता इज वनली वी सी प्रतीति एंड समथिंग नॉट प्रतीति अनमेनिफेस्ट एंड शुद्ध सत्ता दैट 
टू काइंड ऑफ शुद्ध सत्व इन वन दी एसोसिएट्स ऑफ एटर्नल एसोर्स ऑफ कृष्ण एंड इन देम सर्वे मोड ट्रांसेंडेंटल सर्वे मोड ऑफ कृष्ण इज देयर और दिस इज कॉल्ड शुद्ध सत्व वेर इट इज नित्य सिद्ध इन दी एसोसिएट्स ऑफ Eternal Ashtyasya, in Mother Jasoda, in Subal Sadam, in Gopi, Shuddha Shastri, and by following them, practicing by the method process told by Rupa Goswami, or oh, it will come here, where Nitya Siddha Bhav here also, to Nitya Siddha Bhav there. Also, and here, where Devotees in the transcendental uh, constitution of Ji, also we all have some body, a spiritual body. We have here, and that is covered with a O Maya Tattva. Now we are thinking that we are this physical body. And related things, oh, it is mine. But this is wrong. Krishna is mine. I am His eternal servant. This is He. So any of the kinds of uh, dasya, shakya, vasalya, and madhya, any of these, oh, we have some. Body like this. If you will read uh, the book of Sri Bhakti Manohar Thakur, Jayo Dharman also, Mahaprabhu Sikshastra. In first slope, he has told very strongly. Like Krishna, he has body. Transcendental body, Satchi Dhananda, and Jiva is also like this, very beautiful, sweet, all these things, but now covered. Only potency is there, and like he gave an example that there are various kinds of seeds, and you can in the same soil. On the bank of Ganges, and water is same water, or the same sun is giving his life. Everything he is giving, and same gardener plants and supports and nourishes. But what will be? Only what the seed has potency. Only that will come. Tamarind like tamarind, mango like mango. If the seed is of um, other thing, neem tree or jackfruit, only they will come. So also like a an example. Uh, you know in sea. Pearls are there. At that time, if in the constellation of Swati Nakshatra, waterfall will be same water. If it will come in banana tree, it will be camphor. If it will come in the elephant hood, then it will be gajamukta. If it will cause hoofs. Guru Chana, then jewels, and why? Why? So the potency is in water or in the the objects? In both. Without the help of that rain, they cannot do anything. But it will come what is the, in the potency. So, 
साधक मेरी थाउजेंड एंड सो मे बट इफ हिज फॉलो एनी वन रागात्मिक जन वाय राग इज इन दे आर आत्मा टू सर्व कृष्ण दे आर सर्व हिम एंड इफ एनी साधक फॉलोइंग देम स्ट्रिक्टली इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ रूप गोस्वा देन नित्य सिद्ध भाव इन साधक दे थॉट oh it will manifest understand can you define why you are writing also try try no ha nitya siddhasya bhavasya prakatam ridhi sadhya ka Who will? Who will do? You? I can. I can try. Right. Fools rush in where angels first tread. Mm. I'm not gonna. So you were describing. You were describing that uh, depending on the nature of the object where the rain is falling, uh, different. Same rain. same rain but because different seeds here you get mango here you get jackfruit here you get neem and then you also described that during a certain nakshatra swati nakshatra the rain is coming but if it falls on elephant produces one elephant pearl <laughs> and if it uh, falls on oyster pearl if it falls on banana leaf it and camphor if it falls on deer musk so depending on the object uh different i don't know results results will manifest and it is important to have both because without the rain okay. can nothing can be manifested yes and But if there is no nothing in there there oh a rain cannot do anything So both are needed. So nitya siddha bhav both here also there. And when they will meet together, then or the, our nitya siddha bhav will come. Try to digest up till now, uh, up to this point, and we will discuss tomorrow. Very important. Good friend. Hare